A photograph emerged today of New Zealand's sport's most storied trophy, the Ranfurly Shield, broken in half and covered in what looks like drug paraphernalia. It was taken just hours after Hawke's Bay won the log of wood in dramatic fashion and police have just confirmed that after a car accident the same night, a player was charged with drink driving. Adam Hollingworth has the story. Congratulations, Hawke's Bay. It was a moment of unbridled joy when Hawke's Bay lifted the log of wood after beating Wellington. After all, winning the Shield has been one of the pinnacles for provincial rugby players since 1904. But this is what happened on Saturday night. What the f did you do, Lau? <laughs> Get up, ba. You were an idiot. <laughs> Hawke's Bay rugby told NZR the Shield snapped in two when it was dropped on a concrete floor. Had some pretty consistent feedback out of Hawke's Bay that it was dropped. Dropped from a reasonable height by a fairly tall player, I'm told, uh, but onto a hard surface. He said he was told Falao Fakatava, the man holding the trophy in this video, was not responsible for the damage. But it didn't end there. This photo, showing white powder and what looks like a small tube on its surface, suggests that if drugs weren't snorted off the broken trophy, someone was trying to make it look like they were. There are allegations of drug taking into everything you can say about that. Uh, I've seen the same images that everybody else has seen, uh, but at the moment that's all that we've seen. So, so we've commenced an investigation today to understand exactly what's, what's been going on around the shield and um, we'll let that investigation take its course from here. Former All Black Bernie McCarhill was part of the Auckland team that held the trophy for eight years in the 80s and 90s. Well, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. You know, um, the aura that went with that Ramfilly Shield, it seems to have diminished, which is sad. I know they want to keep that community thing alive, but um, if, if the respect is gone, well, it's a sad day for rugby. If it was dropped, McCarhill says that's almost understandable, but there's more to it than that. You hear a bit of that partying going on these days and there seems to be no respect anymore so uh, I'm a bit saddened to hear it that it's broken and and more in particular that the drugs may have been taken off the thing. In Makahil's day the late Peter Fatialofa was the designated minder and Makahil says he'd guard it with his life. I mean what would Fats have done if you'd disrespected the trophy? <laughs> I'm not sure I could say on TV. He'd, uh, he'd give you a hiding, that's for sure. After withstanding 118 years of celebrations, the log of wood was restored in recent months. We've got a community here in Hawke's Bay. They love their rugby, they love the magpies. So we need to make sure that when we're making decisions, we're thinking about what they would perceive as being in the best interest of the magpie rugby. But no one from Hawke's Bay Rugby would talk to News Hub today, instead referring us back to NZ Rugby, who are still reeling from the loss. Disbelief was my immediate reaction. After all of the work that's gone into restoring the shield, I uh, thought someone was pulling my leg at first, actually. Um, hard stomach. The shield is back with NZ Rugby in Wellington, which will work out what needs to be done to repair it again and the protocols around handling the trophy in the future. Well, OK, Adam, this has now become a police matter. What can you tell us? Yes, uh, police have charged a 24-year-old man with drink driving after a car hit a fence at 3.35 on Sunday morning in Napier. As for the allegations of drug taking, well, police say that's not currently a police matter. So NZR are, uh, yes, reeling from this, and they're looking at the idea of a guardian who can be with the trophy at all times. However, they do like the idea that people can touch the log of wood, that they can get their photograph taken, that they can take it home to their kids and their grandchildren. However, that may have to change as a result of this incident. Namahi Adam, thanks for that update.